So know your position. Next is know your position in the market. This is a really good graph. And you don't have to have this exact graph to accomplish this thing, but you look at the things in a market that most people follow, right? You know, I said it earlier, the opposite of a good idea is usually a good idea. This is particularly true here. Now, this was a while back, so this is not new now. Actually, going the other direction might actually be better soon. But when the people at the body shop decided to create a brand, they looked at the cosmetic industry. What are the prices like? High. How's the packaging? Really a lot of packaging, slick, beautiful packaging, high-tech science, chemicals, high, glamorous images of beautiful supermodels, right? Natural ingredients, not so much. You read the back of a Estee Lauder package and it has dodecylbenzene sulfonate number 16, right? You don't know what the hell that is. I actually know what that is, can you believe that? But the body shop said, we're gonna be cheap, we're gonna have very simple packaging, we're gonna have very low tech science, one or two or three ingredients in a product. We're gonna use images of average people, but we're only gonna use 100% natural ingredients and we're gonna represent healthy living. Most cosmetic brands didn't. They didn't care about healthy living at all. They cared about beauty, instantaneous flash beauty, right? And they built a hell of a brand off of that because they were the first one to do it the whole industry has followed them, generally speaking now, right? So they're no longer unique. So they probably need another position now. And these things are cyclical, right? All natural ingredients will absolutely turn around. In fact, it hasn't necessarily hurt the traditional cosmetics industry. Rory Sutherland writes a whole book on that. I used to sell naturally safe, environmentally friendly pesticides. You know who bought them? Almost nobody. If I sold them without telling them they were natural, I sold a lot more than I did telling them they were natural. Because what do you believe when I tell you I've got an all-natural pesticide? It doesn't work as well. Yeah, if I, I'm, I'm all for the environment, but if I see a cockroach, I want a bazooka. I want a flamethrower. I want to nuke the whole house, right? So everybody has these beliefs like environmental beliefs and societal beliefs, to a point. To a point, right? Everybody has a limit. Their hypocrisy only goes so far. You take a circus, you make it over-the-top extravagant, unbelievable performances, very expensive venues, incredibly ornate sets, right? Costumes, oh my gosh, just over-the-top. That's a great example. How are you going to make something... Very, 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 very different. There's a real estate company. They do videos. They never talk about real estate in any of their videos. They talk about communities and all like, you know, if you're moving to Anthem Country Club and you want a great pizza, we're here eating pizza at so-and-so by Anthem Country Club. If you live in Anthem Country Club, you need to get in there all the time. And they just talk about the community all the time. And they're very funny. And they're very unprofessional. They'll go get drunk at a local bar and do drunk videos of how cool this local bar is near the Anthem Country Club. And the whole time, they're attracting readers to things going on around Anthem Country Club, right, for instance. And then they're, they're attaching those readers to, to uh, different lists, like a thrill list for your little community you're working in. And eventually, they offer you their services in the real estate space. So, uh, But this is a great experiment to go through with your product. What's everyone else doing in your market? How could you do the opposite of that and be successful? right? So next you want to create your avatar. I got exposed to avatars about 20 some years old. I went to Sally's Beauty Supply in Denton, Texas, a corporate office. And I went in to make a sale. I think it was 28, 29. And, uh, and I'm pitching to my buyer what I got to sell.